In today's health alerts, Governor Gretchen Whitmer has proclaimed today, June 19th, as Sickle Cell Awareness Day in Michigan. Thank you for staying with us. I'm Brian Abel. And I'm Glenda Lewis. Sickle cell disease is a genetic blood disorder that affects about 3,500 people here in our state and millions worldwide. Chief Health Editor Dr. Partha Nandy is here to explain more about this disease. Doc, I think for um, many people in my generation, we first came to know this with TLC and T-BOS. That's exactly what I remember. Right. Yeah, a lot of people don't know anything about it. And sickle cell disease, Brian, is the most common inherited blood disorder in the U.S. It's present at birth and occurs when a child receives a sickle cell gene from both parents, and this causes a change in the red blood cells. So instead of having normal, disc-shaped, flexible blood cells, people with sickle cell disease have crescent or sickle-shaped red blood cells. These cells do not bend or move easily through blood vessels, and so can block the blood flow to parts of the body, vital parts of the body. When this happens, the person can experience debilitating pain, fatigue, organ damage, and life-threatening complications. Now, sickle cell disease is more prevalent among African Americans. However, it can be found in many races and ethnic groups, including folks from the Middle East, Hispanic folks, Southern European and Asian backgrounds. All newborns in the U.S. are now screened, thankfully, for sickle cell before leaving the hospital. A blood test can determine the presence of the disease, which has many forms. The most common type is sickle cell anemia. Currently, there's no cure for sickle cell disease. So there's also sickle cell trait, right? So exactly. how does that differ from sickle cell disease? And then, as you just said, with no cure, exactly. what's the best course of treatment? Well, very confusing for lots of folks, right? So for, first of all, about 100,000 Americans have sickle cell disease, but about 2.5 million folks in the U.S. have sickle cell trait. That means they have inherited one sickle cell gene and one normal gene. So these folks have normal red blood cells and some that are sickle shaped. Most people with sickle cell trait do not, as they do not experience any of the symptoms from sickle cell disease. However, they have a 50% chance of passing the sickle cell gene to their kids, which could result in the child having the trait or the disease. Or the disease. That's important to understand. There are treatments available to reduce the complications from sickle cell disease. Plus health experts also offer these very helpful everyday tips, and I, and I endorse them too. Drink plenty of fluids, get enough sleep, eat right, exercise in moderation, and get checkups all the time, and stay up to date on vaccines. Here's the key, right? It is possible to live a full, active life with sickle cell disease, and that's what I want people to know, that it doesn't mean a death sentence where you can really live an active life, but you got to be proactive and check with your doctor. And then hopefully at some point we will have a cure for this, that's right. people don't have to live with it anymore. Exactly, so I won't say that statement. I'll say, hey, we have a cure. Exactly. Mm -hmm. All right. Dr. Nandy, grateful as always. My for pleasure. Thank, Thank you. you sir. If you have a health question for the doctor, you can email him, drnandy at askdrnandy.com, or send it to us on Facebook or Twitter.